welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful, sunny Monday. And so I thought, how fun would it be to film a what I wore in a week video? I've never done that before. And it's Monday and it's gorgeous outside. So um, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes this week, getting ready with me and talk about some of my inspiration for my outfits. Um, I've, I've been really inspired lately. Uh, we have these beautiful white daisies that are just blooming everywhere around the property. Uh, just these little white flowers, it makes me so happy. It is spring, almost summertime. So um, today we are, um, I'm gonna be going into work today at the shop. And so um, I felt like today would be the perfect outfit to try a white on white. So let's go in my closet and see what we can find to wear. So to start this outfit, I think I'm just gonna pull a lot of different white pieces, different bottoms and tops that I have, and maybe look for um, some different shades and textures of white just to give the outfit a little bit of dimension. Here's what I've got pulled. Um, this isn't solid white, obviously, but I don't know, a pop of color could also be cute in there. And I've got a couple different pants. These are just some um, skinny jeans or kind of like an off-white cream color. And then I have these more wider leg linen pants. And then I've got this skirt, which is very wrinkled. I have to do something about that. Um, but it's got this um, stitching with this flower print. So that could be really cute and hitting all the check marks for my inspiration behind this outfit. Let's see. And then I've got these white Bermuda shorts. Um, these are really cute fit. I actually wore these not too long ago, um, but I haven't done a white on white with that. And I pulled this basic t-shirt. I've got this kind of like flowy um, top that ties here in the front. Here's another shirt I've worn recently, so I don't know if that's going to be one of my picks for today, but still a very cute shirt. And then I've got a few more shirts here. I've got this tank here, and I've got this polyester kind of um, cream-colored shirt, really pretty. And then this vintage flowy top. It's I don't think I'm loving this since they both tie right here, so that's out. Here's these pants. I do like the pants. Not really filling the top. I don't think it does anything for my figure. All right, this has a lot of layers going on, but it might work. So I've got this tank under here with the cutouts in it and then the polyester shirt, just kind of casual over it. I'm not gonna button it with these pants. So what do we think about that? So I think this is the route I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do these linen pants and just wear it with this plain white tee. I think I'm gonna tie it here on the side and then accessorize it and just be kind of casual today. I feel like I need just a little pop of color. So I got this scarf. Um, it's very bright and colorful and I've still got the white on white and I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of color because I think it needs it. I've never really been good at wearing scarves. <laughs> like I don't know how to tie them or wrap them the right way, but we're gonna go with it. So I had a totally different idea. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but instead of a scarf, what if I wrap it kind of like a sarong, like a beach wrap? I'm gonna try it over the pants. Okay, what do we think about this? This is very different than anything I ever wear. So, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Now for jewelry. I don't really have much white jewelry, but we're gonna try to make this work. So I have a couple necklaces. This is kind of a boho necklace. And then I've got this long white necklace with some white stones. Uh, it's a Kendra Scott necklace. So I think I'm just gonna layer these two, maybe even add some pearls, like a strand of 
pearls to give it a few different layers. Perfect. So I mentioned this on my Instagram the other day, but I've been really into just layering a bunch of necklaces that don't necessarily go together. So like you can see here, I've got this very boho style necklace and then more of a classic um, Kendra Scott necklace. And then I added a couple different pearls. I've got this strand of pearls and then these tiny little pearls on a little delicate gold chain. Um, but they look really fun when you just layer a lot of unexpected necklaces together. Okay, here is the final outfit from head to toe. I really love how this turned out. It's still the white on white and different shades of white that I was going for, but um, the scarf just adds a really fun pop of color. It keeps it very springy, summery. Um, I ended up going with this bag to keep it white. And um, I, know, I just loved how this turned out. It's really, really fun. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Tuesday. Um, so today's plan, I am going out to Happy's Marketplace, which is where um, I have a booth rental inside this huge vendor mall um, in St. Mary's, Idaho. So I've got to work like half of a day shift one time a month. So it is my shift today. So that is what I'm doing. Um, also, while I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and restock my booth and rearrange some things. So um, my inspiration for today's outfit, I'm pretty excited about. So yesterday on the way home from work, I was driving in past this beautiful hillside. It was covered in these purple and yellow wildflowers. And I just love that color combination. Um, it's not really typically colors you see together, um, but I just thought it looked really pretty. So I've got some ideas for an outfit. So I'm gonna go pull those and see what we can put together today. So what I'm thinking, I've got this vintage blazer. It's this really fun purple linen and it's this oversized blazer. So I'm thinking of wearing that over, I've got this kind of like mustardy gold top here and just wearing that over that with some cut off shorts. I'm not really feeling the neckline. I think it's too much like a turtleneck and being that we're almost in summertime, that's really not the direction I want to go. But I forgot that I do have this tank. This is also a little bit more vibrant yellow um, that I was really going for. This is more of like a gold. It almost has a greenish, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it almost has like a greenish gold undertone. So let me try this on with the tank. Okay, that's a lot better. So for jewelry, I'm kind of thinking of adding another pop of color with this green bolo and I don't know why, but I'm like, well, if I'm going for flowers, purple and yellow flowers, that'll help me get the green grass in there. So what I love about bolos, you can either wear the stone like down more if you want more of a necklace look or you can cinch it up if you're wanting that true kind of bolo tie or you can do it somewhere in the middle. It's just very versatile. And I also have all these different beaded bracelets with stones in them. This one's kind of like a wrap bracelet. And then this one has all the different stones. So I think I'm just gonna stack all these together. Okay, I'm loving how dramatic this is with all these different stacked bracelets. It's got all the colors, the yellow that ties in with the shirt. I've got some different greens and blues in here. So kind of just all ties in together with those natural stones and I'm getting those colors that inspired me. All right, so here is the final look. I love the drama that you get from a big oversized blazer. I've got that with my kind of yellowy mustard shirt and green bolo for another pop of color there. And I paired that with these mustard yellow color flats, just a plain little brown bag there. So here is the look from head to toe. Oh yeah, and got all the jewelry, gotta get that in there. I also had this really fun green ring. There it is. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday and it is pretty chilly today. Um, you would think as long as the winter as we had that I would not be ready for the cold weather, but I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good. Um, and it's super, super windy. We've, um, our 
fruit trees keep blowing down and um, but yeah it's just like this it almost feels like fall so today we are running errands in town I'm gonna make a day of it um, maybe hit up a thrift store because a couple of the my go-to stores are half off today um, and just run errands all day so with the weather like this I just want to be super cozy and comfortable running errands um, but also a little cute because I like dressing up all the time <laughs> so let's go get ready so I have this vintage Colorado hoodie sweatshirt that um, I picked up at the flea market a few weeks ago and the high is I think like 60 or 65 today and it's really windy so I'm thinking this will be perfect it'll be really cozy and maybe doing some fun um, pants with that <laughs> Those could be fun. These are my hippie pants. I got them from this hippie store just north of Sandpoint. <laughs> okay, love these pants. I actually even like it with the sweatshirt, but I'm getting full on pajama vibes. So I think I need to do something else. Okay, I've got these longer shorts. I'm thinking maybe those um, with possibly like some Ugg boots. Um, and maybe just a ball cap, super casual. Actually, instead of Uggs, how about some ducks? Great, this outfit looks ridiculous. I'm starting over. Okay, now just need a hat to fall. Here we go. Okay, well, I didn't have to scratch the whole outfit. Those shorts were just so wrong. So I got a shorter pair and I'm just gonna be getting rid of those shorts because they just don't fit anymore. So I've got my cap on with my vintage Silverton Colorado sweatshirt. I love this hoodie so much. And then I paired it with this green bag, obviously chain shorts. And then I've just got some Doc Martens and socks. So there is my casual, cozy, very windy, chilly day outfit for running errands. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday and today I am working in our shop and I'm actually kind of excited for work today because I've got a few projects that I'm going to be working on at the store and it's still a little bit chilly outside. Um, I really have no idea what I'm going to wear, so I'm just going to start looking through my closet. I just thrifted a lot of really, really fun pieces this week um, at a couple thrift stores, So, but I haven't cleaned them yet, so they're not quite ready to wear. Um, so I'm just going to start digging through my closet and see what we can come up with for today. So many times I have zero inspiration for an outfit and I find myself just standing in my closet staring at clothes, trying to find something to wear. <laughs> I know that happens to a lot of you, <laughs> everybody I'm sure, but having a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear. The struggle. I have an idea. I've got this BCBG jumpsuit that I thrifted a few years ago. It's got a really fun pattern to it like different topes and creams and then I'm thinking of wearing that and then over it doing this it's not denim I think it's polyester but this like denim ish blazer over it and then maybe like a big wide belt so I have a couple different belt options I'm thinking about I've got this just plain brown leather wide belt and then I also have this Brighton Concho belt which is kind of fun. It's going to add a little bit probably more western vibe. Um, so I'm just going to try both of them and see which one I like better with the jacket. Okay I like this belt but once I get the jacket on I think it's just too big. I've got too much kind of loose fit bagginess between the jumpsuit and the jacket. 
And I think I just like it better, just the outfit by itself. So either that or I might find a more fitted little jacket or sweater or something to go over it. Y'all, this is why playing dress up is so much fun. So I just threw on this vintage suede vest and I changed out the belts and I am obsessed with this outfit. So let me finish styling it with the jewelry. Gotta fix my hair still, it's still wet. Um, but this is gonna be a really, really fun one today. I'm so happy with how this look turned out. So I added some necklaces and here is my tip that I've been doing a lot lately is just wearing a bunch of different unexpected necklaces that don't necessarily go together. Like I've got this um, gold and silver kind of clover shaped and then I just mix that with um, like some cord with the turquoise stone on it and then another cord here with the turquoise stone on it just to kind of tie everything together. And then I've got these big silver hoops and my rings. And then I added, um, I changed out that other belt for the Brighton belt. And here is the look from head to toe. This might be one of my favorite looks ever. And I've just got a little brown leather crossbody bag and some sandals. So there is the full head to toe look. So that's it for today. I will see y'all tomorrow. It's Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday. Um, I'm about to get ready and go open up the shop today. So let's go into the closet and see what we can find. All right. So this is a top that I just thrifted this week at Goodwill. And I love the top. It's um, from the 80s. So the question though is, do I leave the shoulder pads or remove the shoulder pads? They're not super bulky, so I feel like I can get away with them. Usually I'm not loving shoulder pads personally for me, um, but these are kind of thin, so they might be okay. Let me kind of move them. So there's like without shoulder pads and then with shoulder pads. I think I'm gonna leave them just because if I don't end up keeping this top and reselling them, then whoever ends up with this little gem can have the option of whatever they wanna do with it. It does kind of give me some nice broad shoulders. All right, I know I didn't take y'all through my whole creative process, but here is the outfit for today. I am completely channeling my inner old lady and I love it. So. Um, this top and these vintage Bermuda shorts, I just got at Goodwill this week. So these are both new pieces. And when I was just laying them all out together, I was like, oh, those colors look cute together. And I like the different mix of prints with the stripe and the floral. And I just added this like bright, um, kind of like cobalt blue vintage belt just for a fun pop of color. And then I've got my yellow fringe bag. So all this is thrifted. And um, because it is definitely very much like an old lady vibe, I just wanted to do a really fun hairstyle, something young and fun and playful. And so I just put my hair in like two little top knots there. And then I've got my jewelry layered. I've got this little pearl necklace. This was my grandmother's necklace. It's a um, sand dollar. And then this is my aunt's necklace and it's a kaleidoscope. It's a really cool um, necklace and it's got an amethyst on there and then my turquoise rings so here is the look from head to toe i think it turned out really fun and playful see you guys tomorrow good morning it is saturday it is super super early i woke up at 4 25 it's like well it gets really light really early out here but anyway i'm going to spokane today for a community-wide garage sale um there is this area that there, i think they have like 220 homes already signed up that are participating in this garage sale so it's going to be massive so that's what we're doing today let's go get ready i know today i want to be super comfortable so i think i'm going to start by picking out my shoes and then building the outfit from there. And 
I think I'm going to wear my Hey Dudes because they are extremely comfortable and they're slip-ons in case I need to try some shoes on or just need easy things to throw on and off. And they're a fun green color. I like the idea of doing a skirt because then that's just easy that I can put pants on if I need to try pants on underneath it without having like to go change clothes somewhere since it is a garage sale. Um, so maybe that with like a vintage t-shirt. And yes, my hair is still in the space buns from yesterday. I slept like this. I woke up like this. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take these down and my hair gets really wavy when they've been up in the buns all day. So, um, I think I'm gonna go for like a wavy crimpy look today, but I have this vintage t-shirt. It's from my dad's college years, his Kappa Alpha fraternity shirt. Miller High Life on the back. So I'm thinking this to go with that skirt. Okay, I like where this is going. I don't love the length on the skirt. So I'm just gonna roll it up once. And then I think that's the perfect length right above the knee. So here's what we've got so far. It's uh, coming together, but I need a few more accessories and I'm thinking of maybe throwing a vest over or like maybe a grandpa sweater. I don't know yet. Let me see what else we can add to this. I have this black vest that I just got. Let me throw that over and see what that looks like. feeling very schoolgirl, but I might like it. I'm just not sure yet. I'm thinking I need a belt. I have this wide black one and it's got a little gold detail that will kind of tie in with, where'd they go? With the buttons that have gold on them. I wasn't loving the black. So I got this kind of like cream and yellow print. Um, almost plaid, just oversized button down and threw that over. And now I'm not loving the skirt. I do like the idea of a skirt, but I think I'm just gonna go with either a slouch like jean or shorts. And I like having this too, cause it's kind of cool this morning, but when it warms up, I can just take it off and then, you know, like tie it around my waist and that'll be easy. I don't have to carry it. Yes, okay, these are some vintage men's gap jeans that I thrifted. They're way too big, obviously, but so I'm gonna belt them and they're gonna be the perfect length. Once I have them belted, they look huge right now, but they're gonna give me that perfect slouch that I'm looking for. Okay, that is much better with the belt. I still have that kind of low rise slouch fit. I even rolled them up for, um, to make them a little bit shorter, just a very relaxed fit. Um, so Amazon makes these like button replacements where you can tighten your pants more um, and you don't have to sew them. So I need to order some of those. Um, but here is the look so far. Let's get it accessorized. Took the space buns out and I am super curly, but this outfit is very um, masculine. And so I'm thinking about adding a head scarf, headband, something. This has got a nice little floral print and it's got some yellow that will bring that out. So I'm thinking of adding that just to make it a little girlier. Well, the hair went back up. Um, a little fun fact about me, I have a very small head. So these always tend to roll out of my head. So. I'm gonna see if I can pin it maybe, but I kind of like that. Just add some little flowers, details there, and some more color. Well, that was not working, so plan B. The headband, still get some nice little floral detail in there. The hair's up in like just a messy floppy. So I'm just gonna go with that. I had one more idea. Instead of doing this belt, to use a scarf as a belt instead. These pants make my butt look like a 17 year old boy. <laughs>
touches. I'm just gonna go with all of my gold jewelry. I've got a few gold necklaces and bracelets to layer and my rings. And then that should do it and do some big gold hoops. And lastly for the bag, I think I'm just gonna go with this brown leather crossbody. So here is the look today. I think this turned out really fun. And what's funny is um, it is completely opposite of what I wore yesterday. Um, and I actually just realized every single piece, well, this shirt, this t-shirt and the jeans is all menswear. This was my dad. So it's 1983 vintage Kappa Alpha T. And I've got this men's button down to go over it and then also these men's gap slouch jeans but um to make it a little bit more feminine i added the scarf as a belt and i've got my headband and then just lots of layered gold jewelry rings and then there's my crossbody bag so it's very casual comfy um but i like how this turned out so this is the look today from head to toe well, that's it for today and I will see y'all tomorrow for the final look of the week. Bye! Hello! It is Sunday. We made it to the end of the week. It's been a really busy but fun week. Um, today we are going to the shop and going to work today. I have a ton of inventory to unload from yesterday, um, from all the garage sales I went to. So it's going to be a fun day. Um, it's a little chilly outside again. It's been really windy the last few days. And so we've gotten kind of another cool front. So I'm going to be looking for something probably just warm and cozy today. So let's go get ready. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, I have this long sundress. It's this red um, with blue and white little flowers. So I'm thinking of this and then I don't want to go like full sweater. It's not that cold. Um, but this is like a three quarter length sleeve and it's really thin. And so what I'm thinking is putting this on top of the dress and then maybe adding a belt or something to get kind of like a tucked look. So let's see where that takes us. Now I just wore this belt a couple days ago, but I think this is going to be cute for a pop of color with the pale yellow and then it'll bring out the flowers in that. I think do kind of a low rise on my hip and then just doing a little front tuck there. have these really fun earrings I think I don't know if this is turquoise or lapis but that's the perfect color to go with this and for shoes I'm thinking a tall boot with a heel so I've either got those or those Pretty similar, just a little bit different color there. Or, let's see, I have these that are kind of a peep toe and gray. I'm thinking a brown is gonna be better though, so I'm gonna go with one of those. All right, here is my final look. Sorry, the lighting is not great. Um, so I've got my sweater with the cobalt blue belt and I went ahead and paired it with this really fun heart shaped red bag and my skirt. And I went with the pointier boot. Just, I like the shape a little bit better with this outfit. I've got my blue earrings on. So there is the look from head to toe. So that's a wrap for what I wore this week. I had so much fun putting together all these looks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.